The old Bobcat of 2013 is reaching the finish line. Baby Bobcat 2014 is waiting in the wings. And on New Year's Eve Eve at the Convocation Center, Ohio improved to 9-3 with a 78-43 win over Longwood. Hi there, I'm Russ Eisenstein. Rob Cornelius is alongside. Good finish to the game work of 2013, Rob C. Yeah, and a good team effort, good spread around effort. Great second half out of Ohio. You hold a Longwood team that normally scores a ton of points. It is 15 and a half. Make up for some things in the first half that weren't great and go on to a big 35-point win. Yep, Ohio had five in double figures. The lead was very slim at halftime. They really flipped things and turned it back up with focus on the offensive and defensive ends in the second half. Yeah, four-point margin in the half grew to 35 at the end of this game, and Ohio went on a big stretch, a big run, hit their first six threes attempt of the second half, and ran away from there with the help of some really good defense and rebounding, too. Linkage and consistency here, too. The Bobcats, as we mentioned, had five in double figures. Nick Kellogg, of course, had the heroic game-winning shot at Richmond. And then Ricardo Johnson has started to piece some things together, too. Rick for back-to-back -back games now, double figures. But that was indicative, Rob C., of the total effort tonight. Yeah, total team effort. Nick Kellogg very early. Maurice Endor early. Not a lot of Ohio scoring from anyone else in the first half. But second half, everyone hit it. Folks hit threes. Rick Johnson got to the basket. T.J. Hall has been a key cog. Was really the sixth or seventh guy last year. Stops by with 14 points. He's becoming a serious third option on this team, even in pretty limited minutes. Yeah, D created O. And if Ohio's going to be good, especially on the road in the MAC, it's got to happen that way, and tonight it did for a lot of points. Yeah, it really worked. I mean, for Ohio, you got transition baskets early second half. That's when Longwood really broke, called that first timeout in the second half, and things really came apart for him fast after the under-16. So now it's down to Asheville. It's the final non-conference game of the season because the bracket buster is a thing of the past now. It's MAC efforts all the way after Asheville, a ball club that can be tough at home. Yeah, long trip. Uh, just whipped UNC Wilmington is what Coach told us at, at the end of his, his postgame uh, briefing with us. Got a big center in DJ Cunningham. Kids out of Washington County, Waterford, near Athens, is their best player. Has had several double-doubles this year. If he's healthy, he's really one of the best post players Ohio will see this season. Bottom line, it was a great year for so many reasons. 2013 was incredibly memorable. Hopefully 2014 is a great year, too. We have so much to be thankful for. I, I love New Year's. It's a reflection time. It's a look-forward time. It's a it's a chance to, to start fresh again or to continue things that are good moving forward. Beyond athletics, this is a great time of the year, and I wish you Happy New Year. Everybody else, Happy New Year as well. Yeah, Happy New Year, folks. All our listeners, all our viewers, folks who enjoyed the Bobcat product, these teams, all of it, our best to all of you. Yeah, we thank you for being the best fans of the MAC. And we thank you for being very dedicated fans of what we do uh, for you. We really enjoy it, and we hope you have a happy new year. Please be safe. Celebrate responsibly. We want to have you along for the ride on our radio network on Saturday as we light the network lamp at 1.30 for a tip at 2 as Ohio takes on UNC Asheville. Big win over Longwood tonight for Tanner Smith and for Rob Cornelius. I'm Russ Eisenstein. This is Bobcat TV.